Hello, I'm Tan the Tambio TC channel, and I wanted to make this video. This uh, won't be like a, a versus where you get to see a battle, like death battle or any of that. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, that would be cool, and I wish they would. Uh, uh, but I wanted to mostly talk about, just like I talked about with how uh, I. I've done two videos before on why I think the Soul Survivor is the most powerful pull of the, at least the 3D Fallout game main characters, like the Courier and the Lone Wanderer. Uh, that being, let's go over that again. When it came to it, a lot of the perks, as well as even the companion the Soul and armor and weapons the Soul Survivor had were just unbelievably, like, ugh. Uh, unbelievably ridiculous. Uh, from having very similar perks to that that could match what the courier has, uh, with like being able to explode people when attacking them or shooting them or whatever, having this explosive person ability, I can't remember what the ability is called, similar to that one gun that has a chance of exploding you. Uh, it's more of an attachment to the gun that gives it that ability. Um, two, we're trying to find someone on our travels, by the way. Two, uh, the animatium skeleton being similar to his implants, to not being able to break his bones. Um, as well as just the fact that Soul Survivor can level up ridiculously high, and I remember the battle was like, how powerful would they be at the beginning, by the beginning of the game, how powerful would they be by the end game. I think the Soul, Soul Survivor also dominates there too, because the Soul Survivor not only can level up ridiculously, but he's even a soldier deals with the same things in war that you could technically argue with a, like post-apocalyptic setting so he knows to watch out for traps and disarm them he knows to freaking uh how to use firearms uh check his corners he's very um pre he's precise precision is his thing um he's a good shot and uh showing that he's one of the most powerful freaking full dwellers it says quite a lot Get back. It's still here somewhere. Let's get this Pokey dragon out just here. Grabbed when they tried to make a run for it. But there's just a lot of his abilities and weapons and armor. Like, that's counting, like, DLC ar armor, which, like, Far Harbor counts. And if you have the recon, the recon assault gear, or, for example, the most powerful stats-wise that you can think of, um... Let's see what kind of dragon this is. It's just a regular dragon. By the way, uh, this is how high level I am. <laughs> but I wanted to do this video, getting out of the way of the Soul Survivor thing. Uh, I, you can watch my videos on that, or I can recap it for you uh, in the future if you want. Or you can argue with me in the comments below, but make sure you're respectful at least. <laughs> uh, I can't take arguments or discussions or opinions seriously if they're just also going to be used as a format to harass or bully. Why can't I get somebody, like most of the people I get who actually do disagree with me, are sadly people also being rude assholes. Why can't I just get somebody that says, I disagree with you, but... And, like, they say this and that. Like, why can't I get something like that? More along the lines of that. <laughs> oh, he's, uh, eating. Thank you for the goodies. Sweet. Now I can sell those goods. Give me your power. So, I want to talk about the verses between the Starborn from Starfield. Dragonborn for Skyrim, Elder Scrolls V Skyrim, and the Soul Survivor from Fallout 4. And it is mostly just between them that I will do. So, um... Let's say we put them in a battlefield where 
They can take companions with you. I can't believe Sadly, you are the Dragonborn. Soul Survivor can only the take really one companion. No Creation Club, DLC, or exploits, or glitches are allowed, by the That's way. What you did, so, you can't do any of that. Power. So, say we take either Ada or Dance. Dance with either the strongest power armor in the game, or Ada with the most ridiculous setup, because she can literally be a death, a death machine. There's only one way to find out. So, that, and we're going to allow the, to the Soul Survivor to be able to at least have one Death Claw fighting alongside him. Just a regular Death Claw because of that ability where you can, uh, you can basically tame animals on the wild or have them be friendly to you, and they'll fight by your side for a brief amount of time or whatever. So, say he has, he has that stuff, all his perks, is, like, at a frickin' high-ass level. Same with the other two, Starborn, they have all their perks. Sadly, a lot of the perks do go towards his spaceship of the Starborn, and the spaceship is not allowed in this battle, so a lot of his perks are kind of useless. Um, that does take, like, a giant chunk of his perks out. Tell us, do you believe in this Dragonborn business? Some of you would be better. Do I use my show? Oh my gosh, everybody won't shut the hell up. But then we come to the Starborn. The Starborn is also only allowed to take one survive one uh oh, also the, the Soul Survivor is gonna take either the most powerful power armor he has and take the Recon or the Recon Assault armor. Uh, I'm trying to think, I think there's a Merv or a uh, weapon the Soul Survivor can use that launches multiple mini nukes, though he, because this battle's, depending on how this get at, battle goes, it's either from afar or close that he would have to. So I'm gonna give him a melee weapon as well as a ranged. I think there's a, a uh, Tommy gun that shoots explosive ammo and is never ending. I'm not 100% sure on that though. But say he uses that and that one hammer from the Far Harbor DLC that has the four fusion coils on the end of it, or cores on the end of it, sorry, not coils. Uh, and that's his melee weapon. And you lose. Shut up! <laughs> And that's what he's going to use. And then you have the Starborn, and I'm going to have Sam be by his side. By, by his side. I was thinking Vasco or Sarah, any one of the companions, but just, I'm just going to do Sam. Sam's cool, and he's voiced by the Adam Jensen voice actor. I can't remember his name off the top of my head. And say you give him the Mantis armor, and say you killed both of the Starborn spoiler at the end of the game and you get both their legendary weapons and you use one for yourself and one for the other also we're going to use the new game plus 10 armor for the starborn uh which kind of looks like the the one dudes the hunter the starborn hunter or whatever the frick he's called um and you say you use that so there's nothing really ally wise otherwise so like he lacks Starborn is probably going to be in third place. He has powers, but they have a similar duration time in a way to the Shout of the Dragonborn. So they're not, they're not entirely useful, but they're definitely, uh, I think the recharge time is definitely a little faster than the Dragonborn's uh, duration time, uh, depending, of course. Uh, and then, finally, the Dragonborn, and here's the funny thing, even though the other two dudes are dudes with freaking guns, and you're thinking, oh, a guy with a sword and a bow and arrow isn't gonna do crap, I actually am thinking the Dragonborn wins here, not only because he also levels up ridiculously high, just as the other two, and has ridiculous amounts of health, stamina, and magicka, um, but... Uh, well, besides the bat system slowing down time, which you can do with Dragonborn with Shao. But say you use Oak Shield, that overlayered Shao, that gives you another layer of armor or whatever, and you have the strongest armor in the game, which is like Dragonbone or uh, Daedric armor, 
and then you give some similar to a companion. Say we have the companion from the DL the Dragonborn DLC, uh, Telrin or whatever his name is, and the Retching Niche, and uh, he can summon a Flame Atriarch arc. So there's you, and then we have the Dawn Guard DLC, and if you join the Dawn Guard, either you can have a dog. Or, I think, in the place of the dog, a armored troll. So you've got an armored troll, a flame atriarch, your freaking companion armored up to the core. You and him are both using, like, the strongest sword and shield you can think of to at least block bullets. Or you can use the, um, ward spell uh, to block, like, blazers and stuff. Or, uh, uh, also... You, so, here. besides your companion and you having the strongest armor, you also have the strongest the range weapons, summons. so you have whatever the strongest uh, bow and arrows are the in the game. Is. And I know, I think there's explosive bolts. I'm not sure if that's weapon. in the main game or a DLC, so but if that is, then that. The <laughs> um, and then, so, there are ridiculous perks also for the Dragonborn. I don't want to go into too much detail on the Dragonborn. perks because I'm not going to remember them all. There's so many to go over, Dragonborn. but they all have freaking perks that are ridiculous and can kind of counter one another. Um, and they can heal themselves over time, of course, too, as well as the Dragonborn would have like healing spells and such and be chugging tons of potions just as the other two would be just using whatever their healing items are and their pip boy and crap like that <laughs> Masters, um, of the voice. but here's where the dragonborn edges it so you've already heard that there's like three companions technically fighting by the side and if I was to count creation of stuff, by the way, so that would mean the Sentinel uh, power armor would fight by the Soul Survivor side as well. Then you'd have to have Goff or whatever his freaking name is, that is the goblin that also summons a flame matriarch in the uh in that one creation club item. But yeah, you have you definitely have another follower there too that would still be pretty powerful that would just add four followers then for him and himself that's not even it though so besides having a ridiculous amount of stamina and magicka and health you also can have uh jeez these guys are gonna shut the prick up i'm gonna go over here while they talk but um there are other summons. So the Dragonborn, I'm going to just allow one of these, but the Dragonborn can technically summon also, and also ride a dragon into combat. So let's say we summon that green dragon that was in the uh, Dawn Card DLC, and that's his summon. Yeah. <laughs> and you could possibly ride one of your dragons and fight in combat like that. Then we have... Uh, the other summons, like, let's say the strongest Atriar, At Atronach, bleh, whatever, um, is the Frost one, and you summon that. Or you can summon a Dramora Lord. Or you can summon Lucian Lachance, or multiple of them at a time. <laughs> the, yeah, the Dragon Lord's gonna get ridiculous with the summons. Uh, that's not even counting, like, the Dragonborn DLC when you get the freaking ridiculous. Also, he could use magic as range too, like ridiculous magic spells and stuff as range, um, other than just a bow and arrow or a crossbow with some explosive bolts or whatever. So then there's the uh, Black Book abilities added and there are a lot of also like uh, effects that you can and and whatever else that you can put on your armor what are they what are they freaking called um enchantments called enchantments i just remembered them there's some ridiculous enchantments that can like enhance your armor enhance your attack damage all that kind of crap 
Uh, and you can do a similar thing, just putting enchanted items on your companion and such. Say you have the best of that that world. And while there is st stat related stuff like that for Fallout and uh, and for Starborn, I don't nearly know as many that are going to go to the craziness or like won't just balance out with what Skyrim's got to counter it. So they can just kind of still counter one another. It's still like this big rock, paper, scissors thing, or everybody's choosing the same one, scissors, 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 rock, 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 paper, 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 so to say. Uh, once in a while having something that does beat the other thing. Here's the kicker, though. That is not all that the Dragonborn can summon. I just realized, too, uh, if you are taking this battle to the dragonborn dlc area you can technically have those little if you joined their side those little goblin guys i can't remember what they're called fight by your side too so you could technically have them out of nowhere fight for you um and finally if you beat the last the most powerful and the hardest boss in the game and you still kept your summons from that the Dragonborn can technically summon Karstag, which is the most powerful and freaking ridiculous boss. He can summon a goddamn boss battle to fight by his side. I, that's not even counting the dragons and the freaking, like a Dramora Lord and crap like that, or Lucy to the Chance, and then the companions that already have their own summons. <laughs> uh... And if we were allowed to uh, allow glitches, you can glitch it out to have uh, the entire almost everybody with the Dark Brotherhood fight by your side, Cicero and the two Dark Brotherhood initiates, and then the f and then they also have amazing gear that you can give them. <laughs> and then if we include mods, then just infinite freaking followers, like I'm doing right now here. <laughs> Which you can have a frick ton. <laughs> and some pretty smart ones too. I like that Lucifer one and uh freaking he can heal himself in freaking uh Skyrim on the Xbox. I, maybe he's on PC too, I can't remember if he is. I think he is. He's really good at the Lucifer uh uh cre not creation club, but the the freaking mod. But yeah, summons. A frick ton. A death claw on a frickin' death machine somehow isn't gonna beat that. As well as the dude, the soul survivor being kind of a death machine himself. I do think he's second place, where he gets really close to beating the Dragonborn. They're, they're still probably gonna be in a really tight duel against one another because they have such ridiculous health and, uh, and other, like, crap that's leveled up to the max. But what I realized when I was fighting the Ebony Warrior today, and I just got all these guys with me and armored them up, uh, and they're the equivalent of those summons I talked about, for example, except one's a freaking boss battle and the other ones are dragons. <laughs> uh, they kicked his ass even with the giant amount of health he had. That's freaking ridiculous. <laughs> So that's why I'm going to say the Dragonborn would win there. And in turn, even though the even though I agree with the main character, the champion of Kavach or whatever, in uh Oblivion is the most powerful of the companions because he literally becomes a god, Sheogorath or a Daedric Prince. I still kinda think even the Dragonborn has a good chance against him too. Even though that guy can also have a bunch of summons, technically, and if you count DLC, then definitely a lot of people with him. From Atriarch, and Atronach, or whatever the frick you pronounce him, to a knight, to a knight of the nine fighting by his side, to a mage, to a Dark Brotherhood member, and then just the adoring fan as fodder. <laughs> so he does have quite a few people to fight by his side too as well as the some the things he can summon like different Jamora and uh ghosts and stuff which also the dragonborn can do um but yeah that's all i have to say on that i think they want to talk to me now since i've been sitting here 
You've yeah, let's done talk a to great you. service for me and my city, but... Dragonborn. And they all have giant ass accomplishments as well as have fought really deadly enemies. I actually feel like the Soul Survivor and the Dragonborn have fought more deadly enemies because, like, the Dragonborn has fought freaking trolls and many, many, many dragons. And then all the crazy Cthulhu crap and the Dragonborn DLC and such. Like, goddamn. And then you got Soul Survivors surviving against like Myrler Queens and Kings and surviving hermit crab giant hermit crabs, surviving against fog bog beasts or whatever the frick they're called, to fighting um uh what else is there? I worry about the Hold on, I wanna buy a house for you, Dink. Here's the key to your new home. Thank you. Splendid. There's a house available right now. Wonderful. Here's the key. There, to I'm Google. taking two houses. <laughs> but yeah, um, where can I decorate? There we go. Be glad. And of course, now, what Shut would up. you like to? Very Just... well. Is there anything else you'd like to purchase? Very well. Is there anything else you'd like to purchase? Very well. Is there anything yeah. else you'd like to purchase? <laughs> Frickin'. Oh, there no. I want to... Uh, yeah, I shouldn't have like purchased the alchemy lab. Whoops. Very well. Is there anything else you'd like to purchase? <laughs> Probably wasted uh, a Very bit well. of money on that. Is there oh. anything else you'd like to purchase? Very well. Is there anything else you'd like to purchase? No, I'd like to stop hearing your same dialogue as well. Oh, look, everybody's sitting around the table. Oh, even Jarl Volker is down here. I didn't even notice he came down here. Anyways, that's all I have to say on that. Um... Let me know what you think. I think just because the ridiculous amounts of summons, not including the mods I'm using right now, uh, as well as just how ridiculously high... Is that an amulet of Mara? By the way, I can also have them by my side too, but I'm saving it for somebody else. Um, but, yeah, there's a ridiculous amount of summons that the Dragonborn can have is crazy. <laughs> oh, and I just realized you can also have your take your horse with you and put horse armor if you, once again, if you involve the creation club stuff. But you, you can technically also summon a horse, and horses sometimes do fight for you too, <laughs> and are had to have a bit of help uh, compared to most animals. So there you go. There's another fighter for the frickin'. <laughs> so he has, his vehicle can technically fight for him. <laughs> I have a feeling that once vehicles come in, if there are vehicles that can actually be used to attack things instead of just traversal, then I have a feeling that uh, the Starborn might have another thing to edge out the battle a little bit. But I feel like he's still going to end up in third place compared to the other two. But yeah, I was surprised to think about all the freaking like summons and companion crap and how ridiculously powerful they are technically. To fight by the side of the Dragonborn, as well as how powerful the frickin' Dragonborn is alone. It's frickin' crazy. <laughs> so yeah, that's all I have to say on that. I hope you enjoyed what I had to say, even though we didn't get the action. Like, try, I guess, try and visualize them fighting each other. Uh, and tell me who you think would uh, personally win. But yeah, I think because of how ridiculous the summoning side of the Dragonborn is, it's kind of crazy. <laughs> but nonetheless, uh, I will see you next time. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Leave your comments below, and I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye!